Hey, good morning. Let's take a look at Luke chapter 9, verses 49 and 50 today. And here's what it says. Now John answered and said, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we forbade him because he does not follow with us. But Jesus said to him, do not forbid him, for he who is not against us is on our side. So there's a tendency that people sometimes have, you know, to say, well, you're either with my group or you're a bad guy. But Jesus doesn't seem to subscribe to that. God works in many ways. God often works through people and situations that you didn't expect, but you find out later that hey, something really powerful seemed to be happening there. So when we have this, we saw somebody casting out demons and we gave him a command. This was not a command from the church. This wasn't really appropriate. Jesus isn't supporting this. This isn't what Jesus wanted from his church. He said, we're, we're not really supporting that. Leave this guy alone. Again, look at what Jesus said. Do not forbid him, for he who is not against us is on our side. We are too quick to jump out there and say, oh, uh, that person is not a member here, or he's not a speaker here, we've never heard of him before, he's not on, he's not on God's team. But I would say, wait a minute, no, that person, according to Jesus, might well be on God's team, and maybe he's working and doing all these things that God is leading him to do, but you're just ruling him out. You know, there was a difference between the preaching of Paul and Apollos. Go back and read about it in the book of Acts. Uh, there were places where, you know, Paul and Apollos didn't completely agree on every single thing about when they should do what, but you know what? They supported each other. And you know, we're all learning, we're all growing, and so I'll tell you what, we better be very careful about saying, oh, that guy's a bad guy, that guy's not on God's team. Maybe he is. So let's be generous with people. Let's uh, let's keep our ears open and be listening because, you know, the God of heaven may have something for us that we didn't expect to hear, and he may bring it through a source we didn't expect to hear through or from. So, friend, uh, let's follow this counsel from Jesus. Let's be quick to listen, quick to be generous, and uh, let's be careful. Yes, there's times to block things out and say, yeah, that's absolutely not right, but even though this guy was actually, you know, exercising. He was casting demons out. Uh, Jesus said, you, you just shouldn't have blocked that guy. He's, he's on God's team. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that we can serve you, and thank you that you have so many agents, different people in different situations here and there that are on your team. Help us to please, Lord, help us to be on your team, and help us not to be ready to throw around ecclesiastical power and tell people, oh, you, you get lost, you're not part of the group. Help us to be wise about truth, careful about truth, yes, but also wise and careful about prejudging people. Let's find out what's according to the Bible. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Be our leader, God, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So friends, God bless you today. So what did Jesus say? Important. He who is not against us it's on our side. God bless all those that are on God's side today.